Hello and welcome to this Cosmetics Design Europe interview from PCD Congress in Paris. I'm Katie Bird and here with me today is Dr. Philippe Kern from the Swiss tube manufacturer Neopac. Now, Philippe, earlier today you gave a presentation on some new regulation that the Swiss market has introduced that will affect suppliers of UV cured inks, lacquers and varnishes. Could you tell me how this Swiss regulation differs from what we already have? So uh, the problem is that in a, in a international scale we don't really have uh, that much. Uh, there is no binding national or international regulations. Uh, there is some recommendations from uh, industrial groups like the lacquer manufacturer themselves. Uh, for example, the European Printing Association. Uh, there is also uh, existing documents from the Nestle uh, group, the Nestle guidance, which is a respected document, but only for food packaging. Uh, and this is, uh, these are just recommendations from industry, but not no real legal documents that you have to abide. So why do we need such a regulation? The problem is that uh, UV cured systems, so uh, inks and lacquers, they contain uh, photo initiators so that the mechanism works, and also uh, monomers uh, which make them reactive enough to cure in a short time. And these, uh, mainly these two type of molecules, are prone to migrate. Uh, they are able to migrate uh, from the packaging, even from the outside of the packaging, into the, the bulk itself. Uh, and these substances are everything else but harmless. They are listed, some of them are listed as CMR substances, even. Some have no toxicological assessment. Uh, so that's why they. They are now put at in a, in an approach into this uh, Swiss legislation. So how would regulations such as this affect a supplier of these UV cured uh, inks, varnishes and lacquers? As a supplier of varnishes, uh, you have to come up with uh, products respecting these limits, at least uh, for now, uh, if you want to sell products, uh, packaging products in the Swiss market. Uh, and uh, even if you sell into the European market, uh, suppliers of lacquers and inks, they are, uh, they are trying to respect these limits because it's, uh, we think it will be a standard uh, international. And how has Neopac reacted to this new regulation? We have reacted uh, by developing new lacquer and ink systems together with our suppliers, of course, because it's not us who uh, develops the lacquer or ink system, but we have to, uh, to test the formulations they uh, exclusively give us to test. Uh, we have to make the migration analysis on the packaging system because uh, the, the lacquer, basically, the supplied lacquer is just a preface of the final system. The hardening, the curing process happens in our many, uh, facilities, so you have to do the tests on the final product. And can you offer any products that respect this new regulation then? Uh, very freshly we can. Uh, we can offer gloss lacquers, we can offer lacquers that can be after decorated by silkscreen or uh, or hot stamping for cosmetics, for pharmaceutical application, which are absolutely in agreement with uh, all the, the Swiss ordinance legislation, also with the uh, OIPA guideline or the Nestle recommendation. And obviously at the moment this is a Swiss regulation. What do you think the future holds for this? Is this going to become wider? Uh, industrial opinions are clearly going uh, into the direction that uh, this legislation will be adapted European-wide. And uh, this, if this happens in six months or one year, nobody really knows, but it's going to happen. Thank you very much for your time. This was Katie Bird for Cosmetics Design Europe.